Descriptive research refers to a method that allows researchers to observe and describe behaviors and mental processes without manipulating variables, but it does not allow researchers to establish cause and effect relationships. The survey method utilizes questionnaires and or interviews to assess people's behavior or attitudes on a particular topic. This type of research is one of the most common methods used in psychological research. The use of large random samples is possible and allows for the generalization of survey results. Its popularity is because it allows researchers to collect large amount of data in a relatively short amount of time and in a cost-effective manner. Naturalistic observations involve observing and recording the variables of interest in the natural environment without interference or manipulation by the experimenter. Such study can be useful to view the variables of interest in a natural setting but they can be time consuming and expensive and they don't allow for control of any of the variables. Case studies involve taking an in-depth look in an individual or group. These typically provide very detailed knowledge and can be useful in studying rare and unusual cases. Longitudinal studies follow individuals over time, ranging from several weeks, months, years or decades. These allow researchers to look for the changes over time and as such they are very useful in studying developmental and lifespan issues. They are, however, very time consuming and can be expensive. Another problem is that over time participants will drop out of the study, resulting in changes in the sample size over time. Cross-sectional studies consist of comparing individuals of various ages at one point in time. They are also very useful in developmental research and often used as an alternative to longitudinal studies because they are easier to set up and generally cheaper. However, cohort effects, which are the differences between all of the groups, can arise and be problematic.